Now in this lecture we will discuss about reactions of Grignard reagent with acid halide RCOX is the general formula for acid halide. For example RCOCl is acid chloride Similarly, general formula for Grignard reagent is RMGX We can have a typical Grignard reagent RMGCL In this case R has negative charge and magnesium has positive charge so this is a nucleophile R minus can act as a nucleophile so we can assume Grignard reagent as a nucleophile so this is a nucleophilic center so Grignard reagent can act as a nucleophile Now let us consider the formula for acid halide So oxygen is more electronegative than carbon so this electron cloud is pulled towards oxygen so oxygen will have negative charge and carbon will develop positive charge similarly this X halogen that is electronegative atom so this electron cloud is shifted towards X so X will develop a negative charge and carbon will develop a positive charge so basically in this case carbon is electrophilic center so when we consider reaction of Grignard reagent with acid halide So this is simply reaction of electrophile and nucleophile so we have here electrophilic center and here we have R minus that is a nucleophilic center so let us consider the general mechanism for this reaction R minus will attack on this carbon at the same time carbon cannot have 5 bond because we have 4 bond already and 1 bond is formed so we have to break 1 bond let us say this is R dash so we will have R dash that is coming from Grignard reagent so we will have this salt as the product but now in the next step this salt will eliminate this halogen so this negative charge will pushes this leaving group X minus is a good leaving group so this X minus will be repelled or we can say expelled from this molecule so we will have a ketone so final product we have a ketone and inorganic product we will have that is MgX2 so see the mechanism involves two step the first step is addition and this is the addition of a nucleophile and the second step is elimination that is elimination of X minus
So overall reaction is substitution. We have a substituted R dash in place of X. So overall reaction is substitution. And this is basically nucleophilic substitution. This kind of substitution is called a sile substitution because we have substituted a group on a silic carbon. So this group, this carbon is called a silic carbon. So this substitution is basically called a sile substitution. And this is nucleophilic in nature. So it is easy to write product in the first step we have to add one R dash and the next step we have to release a leaving group. For example, we can have let us say CH3COCl and if I treat with PHMGCl So this will be attached here. So we will have pH C double bond O and this side we have a CH3. So this is the CH3. So this will be the product and this is easy to derive. We can have CH3 C double bond O Cl. pH minus will attack. This opens up. And the next step this leaving group that is Cl goes out so we will have a ketone. So one can ask this kind of problem so let us say if I say prepare CH3 C double bond O CH2 CH3 using Grignard reagent and acid halide. So we have to prepare this compound using Grignard reagent and acid halide. Let us say RCOCl. Acid chloride. So now we have two options. We can take this one as Grignard reagent or we can take this one as Grignard reagent. So let us say if I take this one as Grignard reagent then this one we have to has acid chloride that is CH3, CH2, COCl and Grignard reagent will be CH3, MgCl and this will give the desired product. Now we can have another option, we can take this one as Grignard reagent then in that case this one should be acid halide. So we will get the desired product. Let us say if I say prepare this compound using Grignard reagent synthesis. That is we are given Grignard reagent and we have been also given acid chloride. Now in this case we will have only one option. If I take this as a Grignard reagent or this as a Grignard reagent, both are same. So in this case we have only one option. And that is CH3COCl plus CH3MgCl. And this will give the desired ketone. So product is ketone. Another important point we have for this reaction, if I take Grignard reagent in excess, final product will be alcohol. For example, let us say if I take CH3COCl and PHMGBr and this time PHMGBr is taken in excess. So what will be the product? 
Now you know first will happen is I'll substitution and product will be this. But now we have a ketone and ketone can be further attacked by Greek dart reagent. So till this time we have used one mole of Grignard reagent. Now the second mole of Grignard reagent will attack on this carbonylic carbon to give the addition product. Now we can acidify this one to give the final 3 degree alcohol. So in this case if I use at least 2 mole of Grignard reagent, this is 1 mole and this time the second mole. So you see finally we have added 2 pH group that is 2 mole of Grignard reagent should be at least used. So in this case finally we will have alcohol as the product. Let us say if I say prepare this compound using Grignard reagent and acid chloride that is RCOCl. So how will you prepare? You see in this case we have two methyl group. This must be coming from Grignard reagent. You see the two group attached is same that is coming from Grignard reagent. So this is coming from Grignard reagent. So this one has to come from acid halide. So my option should be pH COCl and if this is treated with Me that is methyl MgCl and then we have to do acidification. So finally we will have a 3 degree alcohol containing two methyl group and in this case we have to have at least two mole of Grignard reagent should be used. So generally we take methyl MgCl in excess that is Grignard reagent in excess. We can have a special acid chloride for example HCOCl if I treat with MgCl and this is in excess and finally if I treat this with H2O what will be the product? Now idea is same first time we will have substitution that is Cl group will be substituted by methyl next time methyl can attack on this carbon and we will have a addition product. Let us say MeMgCl Now if I acidify this one so in this special case we will have 2 degree alcohol. Generally we will get 3 degree alcohol but in this case we will get 2 degree alcohol because one side we have hydrogen in place of alkyl group. So in this lecture we said about reactions of Grignard reagent with acid chloride or acid halide. Important point acid chloride or acid halide has a leaving group. 
so we will have substitution not addition reaction so final product will be aldehyde uh, sorry this is ketone and this ketone can be further attacked by excess of grignard reagent to give the final product as alcohol